Hello and welcome to the MPL Defect of the Month. My name is Bob Willis and this month I wanted to talk about solar stencil inspection. Now stencils are part of nearly every fabrication or assembly process today, being used for the deposition of solder paste on the surface of printed circuit board. But how often do you actually measure them? To check they're actually what you required or what you specified from your supplier. It's good practice to do this. Now if we consider that the solder paste stencil is perfect and we're really happy, then during production we should look at the quality of the aperture, any damage to any apertures, particularly fine pitch, and also any variations in the flatness of the stencil. If you have inappropriate printing conditions then you'll tend to damage the stencil over time. It'll become coined to the edges of the printed circuit board or any high point and really at that point you may like to consider changing it. But where a stencil does not make flat intimate contact with the surface of printed circuit board you will always get variations in the quality of print. So always check your stencil before you use it. Another couple of things is obviously inspecting the apertures. Now when you've used a stencil once and cleaned it hopefully your colleagues will have cleaned it perfectly and checked it before restoring it. But you should always check it before use. There's no point in spending 20 minutes setting up a printer only to find the quality or the apertures are lodged, uh, full up of solder paste that has dried out from a previous operation. So check the four corners and check the center and also check the smallest aperture on the stencil. That will give you pretty good confidence that your stencil has been cleaned, there's no damage and you're ready to print successfully.